Hello. Hi. How are you? What kind of tools are we using? <laughs> well, we're using a slicker brush. Using a slicker brush. What else? <laughs> and, and scissors, and that's about it. When Joey came in, I was trying to read his expressions, and he was looking at me like maybe I, he didn't think I was holding my brush right, or he, he didn't know what I was doing. I doubt myself all the time. <laughs> I mean, there are some really great groomers in that room. Well, I like this. You got a lot brushed out. Thank you. I thought I'd focus on that. I don't that. believe in scissoring a matted dog. I was trying to put little hearts into it, but I think from what I've noticed, when we go too close, we get very bald. I definitely got the, the feeling from him this was not what he wanted. Looks like you're doing a little braiding action here. I am. Now, would this be something, though, you'd be able to do on a dog if it was a live dog? Like this down a leg with this hair. Actually, yeah, I've done braiding a lot. You gonna do more work in the body? Yeah, <laughs> I got a lot more work to do. OK. Big guy, how you doing? Good. How, how are you? How you doing? Good. What's going on? Yeah. You know, I really don't know yet. He's already lost a leg, so I got one less leg to scissor. Um, once I get it brushed out, yeah, absolutely. It's a lot harder than I ever imagined it was, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Well, I'd like to see this one pulled together. I like the style on it, to be honest with you. Thank you. The best thing I can say is, whatever you do, don't groom a matted dog. You'll have a much better result. Thank you. Good luck, Thanks, everyone. Joe.